What's up everybody, it's your boy, King Boys Productions, and I am back at it with another reaction video. So today, I am here with Lil Tekka, Bad Time. Now, this one was kind of, this one was kind of, geez, what just happened there? Um, I saw Tekka was dropping this song, and I was kind of like, oh cool, I'm, I'm, I'm glad. Let me just make sure my shit's recording, because, okay, sorry. Um, but I saw Tekka was dropping this, and I was kind of like, cool, that's awesome. I'm glad Tekka, looks like Tekka's kind of, it sounds, seems like he's kind of gearing up for an album drop as well. We just watched the DC, or listened to the DC song. So I was like, okay, maybe DC's gearing up for his album. It looks like Tekka might be too. I mean, two songs in like two weeks, I think it's been, or three weeks, whatever. I don't know if this means like, maybe we'll get one more Tekka song and then we're gonna go into the another album, a new Tekka album. I'd be very excited if that's the case. Uh, but I don't know. So I was like, I was already getting ready to react to just the song. I was like, you know, I already know that this song is gonna be, probably be good. It's gonna do well. People are gonna enjoy it. Um, so I was like, I was already ready to do it as soon as I got back from my vacation. But then I saw today, I saw on Lyrical Lemonade's page that they posted a music video for this little Tekka song. And honestly, I don't remember when the last time Lyrical Lemonade did a little Tekka video. I feel like it's been a long time. I mean, they did the one with him and Leroy, but that was for like the Lyrical Lemonade album. Like I'm just talking about just a little Tekka song, not featuring it or make, like not as a feature, but just his song. It's been a while. I don't even know. I can't even name the last one that he did. So I, I thought it was really cool that they were able to do another Lyrical Lemonade video for Lil Tech. So this new song called My Bad, and it's a Lyrical Lemonade video. You know, Cole Bennett put his, uh, you know, his whole nutsack into this. So uh, let's go. Ooh. You know, I will say the thing I love about Lil Tekka too, before this starts, I just feel like he's got so much more swag since he started. I feel like he just has like slowly gained more confidence in himself as an artist. Like the early like Tekka videos just like kind of always seemed a little awkward and whatever. Like now he just has like this swag to him that I feel like he didn't have at the start of his career. Obviously like when he first started, he was like 16, 15, 16. And now he's an adult, you know, so he's kind of got that going for him. But I feel like he's just gotten more comfortable with himself as an artist, but also just like doing stuff like dancing around and acting like whatever. Like every, I've seen two Tekka shows and they were both phenomenal. And he has like a great stage presence. So, I mean, I wonder if it was like that at first, but I even like you see some early on videos of Tekka. He just seems awkward. I don't know. But I mean, even just the start of this video, I was like, okay, Tekka, hold up. Oh, 
you snapping right here. The Tekka Summer beat where you just like wanna go. You've been to all in my hair. You've been to all in my air. You crashing out over a tree. I don't even know how to stare. But I don't know what to believe. Yeah, I don't even know how to care. No, I wanted you, but that was past tense. Don't have a lot of hope just on my accent. Carry my chopper shorty, she's savage. Got a son for you, cause you ain't average. I be on gas fuel, take me out of illusion. Think I got it, cause I imagine it. Fashion shit, yeah, I mix it, I ain't mad. She had it, but I'd rather say she passionate. Is this a bad time? Remember what happened last time? You better all be satisfied. We don't wanna say shit every time. Is this a bad time? Remember what happened last time? You better all be satisfied. We don't wanna say shit every time. Hey, 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 hey. He said he had a little act. Oh, Cole Bennett didn't, didn't direct this one. Okay. Directed by Diamond Visuals. Okay. That's cool. Like, I remember, I remember Cole Bennett mentioning something about that, right? Like, he was mentioning that he wasn't the one directing every Lyrical Lemonade video from now on. Like, he's going to have different people doing it, like, directing videos, but also, like, whatever. Doing, like, just making the brand bigger. Which is cool, right? Because like, if he has, to, if he had to direct, I mean, obviously, I, it, him directing videos was, is, and I think he's still gonna direct videos, of course. But like, you can grow your brand and be able to do many, so many more videos if you like, basically, like, spread your wings, right? Because if you spread your wings, get more people involved, get more people going, you'll be able to like, even if you train those, if you train those people on the way that you do things, then you can get more people involved, and you can release more videos, and you can like have more different style that's why i think it's so cool and i actually have this idea that i wanted to share with you guys um let me just let me get some tech stuff out the way but um i think like tech we've always we, we talk about this all the time tech has like that groovy ass music that you just feel like it just makes you want to dance no matter what he's talking about he could be talking about the saddest shit but you're just like like the beats he come in and he's just like hey He's like, what happened last? Is this a bad time? Remember what happened last time? And he just want to hit like this. So I really hope, I really hope that this means he's gearing up for an album drop within the next couple months. I mean, I would say two songs. Again, I think it was two songs in three weeks or whatever. I would assume that maybe that means like, I'm thinking, I'm just thinking. Can I think for a second? I'm thinking that that means maybe an album's coming next month, possibly. Maybe it's just, maybe Tekka was like, I haven't dropped music in a while. Here's two songs. Shut up while I work on the album. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but I'm excited either way. Now, as far as the thing I wanted to kind of kind of bring up, obviously this is the end of the normal reaction. For those of you that want to stay, I appreciate it. But um, when I, obviously I was just talking about how Lyrical Lemonade is like getting different directors in there, getting different people in there. Um, I'm sure, probably different editors and stuff like that as well. Besides just Cole, I think it's cool that they're able to broaden their horizons, but also show like different filmmakers under this uh, umbrella of Lyrical Lemonade. I'm kind of doing something a little similar to for my album. You guys know I have an album coming out hopefully in January. Again, that's kind of up in the air uh, for now, but that's kind of what I would like to do. Uh, but what I want to do for every song is I want to do like a little like visualizer type thing not a full music video but like a visualizer i mean maybe we'll do some cuts or whatever depending on what whoever wants to do it but like I'm do, i want to do it like a different visualizer for every single song on the album so basically every single song has this like has this cool little visualizer to go with it when i post them on youtube so it's not just watching like a still a still ass image it's actually being like um uh, you know, it's actually uh, a cool thing for me to to do. Like, like you can watch something while the video is playing, and it will be like a little visualizer slash like semi small music video type thing for all the songs. And what I want to do for them is I want to make it so that every video, or maybe not every single one, but I want to try and do many different filmmakers on these videos. So. I'm actually, so I'm blessed to the fact that like I have a lot of friends who are in film 
that like they all that they're all super like oh i would love to do that i love to do that so i have like five six seven friends right now currently already that were like verbally committed to doing one of these and each of them have like their own unique style of what the way that they shoot videos the way that they you know use lighting the way that they do this the way that they have like i don't know if they'd have any ideas for a certain video or whatever so like they, there's so many different things that I, i'm very excited for that i think is going to turn out very cool and then i have my friend my other friend she's gonna um she's gonna shoot the album cover for me uh i told her i was gonna reach out in a few few months probably like november or something to set up like an actual shoot with her uh, she's a very talented photographer so i wanted to kind of do something kind of kind of cool like a mixture of her style with like my own personal style to get like this album cover done and i'm very excited man this this project has been uh, taken a lot has been i've been working on it a long time but i think you guys will really enjoy it and even if you don't like my music necessarily i think you guys will be able to enjoy the art behind it whether it's like different filmmakers, different photographers, different, all these other people, the engineers that have been working on it, specifically one, my boy Ivan has been working his ass off trying to get some of my songs done and all these other artists that I'm trying to get featured on the album as well. So it will be a, it will be a fun time and hopefully, hopefully we'll still be able to drop in January, but don't hold me to that, you know, cause I am a bit flaky. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I think that would be cool. So, hey, but anyway, Besides, that's besides the point. If you did like this video, please leave a like, please subscribe. Original videos in the description down below if you'd like to check that out for yourself. And until next time, it's your boy, King Boys Productions. Squaw!